Lamentations, Chapter 3 I am one who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. Against me alone he turns his hand again and again all day long. He has made my flesh and my skin waste away and broken my bones. He has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me sit in darkness like the dead of long ago. He has walled me about so that I cannot escape. He has put heavy chains on me. Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my ways with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. He is a bear lying in wait for me, a lion in hiding. He led me off my way and tore me to pieces. He has made me desolate. He bent his bow and set me as a mark for his arrow. He shot into my vitals the arrow of his quiver. I have become the laughingstock of all my people, the object of their taunt songs all day long. He has filled me with bitterness. He has sated me with wormwood. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. So I say, gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for one to bear the yoke in youth, to sit alone in silence, when the Lord has imposed it, to put one's mouth to the dust, there may yet be hope, to give one cheek to the smiter, and be filled with insults. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. When all the prisoners of the land are crushed underfoot, when human rights are perverted in the presence of the Most High, when one's case is subverted, does the Lord not see it? Who can command and have it done if the Lord has not ordained it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that good and bad come? Why should any who draw breath complain about the punishments of their sins? Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts as well as our hands to God in heaven. We have transgressed and rebelled and you have not forgiven. You have wrapped yourself with anger and pursued us, killing without pity. You have wrapped yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can pass through you have made us filth and rubbish among the peoples. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. Panic and pitfall have come upon us. Devastation and destruction. My eyes flow with rivers of tears because of the destruction of my people. My eyes will flow without ceasing, without respite until the Lord from heaven looks down and sees. My eyes cause me grief at the fate of all the young women in my city. 
Those who were my enemies without cause have hunted me like a bird. They flung me alive into a pit and hurled stones on me. Water closed over my head. I said, I am lost. I called on your name, O Lord, from the depths of the pit. You heard my plea. Do not close your ear to my cry for help, but give me relief. You came near when I called on you, and you said, Do not fear. You have taken up my cause, O Lord. You have redeemed my life. You have seen the wrong done to me, O Lord. Judge my cause. You have seen all their malice, all their plots against me. You have heard their taunts, O Lord, all their plots against me. The whispers and murmurs of my silence are against me all day long. Whether they sit or rise, see, I am the object of their taunt songs. Pay them back for their deeds, O Lord, according to the work of their hands. Give them anguish of heart, your curse beyond them. Pursue them in anger and destroy them from under the Lord's heavens.